So um, in the remote, we actually have a few things to note. So in this case, we don't have the RTK cap. Uh, you won't see any RTK functions, right? So you can see you have a wide angle camera with no zoom. and a zoom camera and as we go in so you notice at seven times there was that jump so we were switching to between the cameras you can even notice the color is a little bit different right? And you can see the images are sharper again because it's optical zoom without any digital zoom. And this is the maximum zoom of 56 times. Okay, so uh, we, if we look into the settings, you have the uh, image drive. So in your photo modes, you have single, you have time, and your panel. So panel is where you do your 360s. As for video, you have the selection of either between these two resolutions. As for video, you have the option of between these two resolutions. So the other thing is when you go into flight route, when you do mapping, you can actually choose the camera so for mapping, there are a few critical features. Uh, first of all, they have a mechanical shutter, as you can see here. So you have to have it enabled so that you can reduce the rolling shutter distortion when you're taking pictures for mapping. The second is when you can take pictures, you also want to know what is the interval. So in the case of this camera, it is a 0 0.7 second interval, which means it is as fast as the DJI Zenmuse P1 when it comes to capturing images. Very similar to what you will find on the M30 or M300 uh, because it's using the same DJI Pilot 2. So as you can see, uh, it can even do your pinpoint and other basic features.